Hello everyone, this is Silas with a new Winter Mixed Media project. For those of you who are new here on my channel, I'm creating acrylic and mixed media paintings and also art journals and bullet journal videos. So if you like this type of videos, I would love to have you as a subscriber. This winter canvas is actually part of the mixed media YouTube hub along with another six projects created by amazing creative ladies and there is also a giveaway included so check out the description box under the video where you can find all the infos and also giveaway rules. And now let's get into this project. So I am creating on an old canvas which I've started like two years ago and I don't have the actual video files now but you don't miss very much. I just uh, tore a tissue a pattern paper and I glued them to my canvas and after that I put a layer of gesso on top of it. And now I am painting this very simple tree. I am using acrylic paints for that and I'm not using very much water with the paint because I want all my brush strokes to show and I am also using a spatula for the white paint to add the texture to my tree. And I'm just building layers like that until I am happy with how my tree looks. Now I am adding white acrylic paint and white modeling paste with a spatula to create a layer of snow under my tree. And I am also adding more white strokes on my background to create even more texture and for that I am using a much stiffer brush than I would normally use for acrylic painting. After I was done with all the paint layers, I started to decorate my tree with ribbons and buttons and other embellishments. I am using a hot glue gun for that and I am starting with those ribbons and metallic chains first. Here you could see that I am adding a silver metallic thread around the chain to add more interest to it and then I glue them together to my canvas. And here I basically dug out all the little trinkets I could possibly found and now I am starting to decorate my tree with them. I'm not gluing them down just yet, right now I'm just placing them randomly onto my canvas and deciding where to actually put them. And now, after I decided approximately where I want to place everything, I'm just gluing those embellishments with a hot glue gun. And under those big like flower ornaments and also under big buttons, I decided to put a piece of white fabric, which I have left from some old curtains. 
And I'm also adding a silver glitter glue on every ribbon to make it shiny and sparkly. Now I'm covering some of those embellishments with a layer of gesso to prepare them for the acrylic paint, which I want to add later. I'm not trying to cover them perfectly because I want pieces of gold, white and silver to show, but for example those purple buttons I covered really good because they wouldn't fit my color scheme at all. And before I'm going to continue with the tree, I will create some more decoration, this time with embossing. First I glue those gold stars to a piece of paper, so it would be easier for me to work with them. Later I will just peel them off. And I'm covering them with the gesso and then I put a thin layer of watermark ink on top of it. And thanks to this ink, the embossing powder will stick on top of it. And now I heat setting them with the heat gum. And here you can see how those stars turned out. Now I continue creating more embossed stars and snowflakes and this time with gold embossing powder. And those last stars I again covered with gesso, but now I am painting them with turquoise and pink color. But I am not painting them with a solid color, I am also adding just a little bit of white paint here and there. And the last step is adding silver glitter glue again. And here you can see how all those little decorations turned out. Now I am working more on my tree. 
I am painting some of those embellishments with same turquoise and pink color as I used for the stars and snowflakes. Again, I'm not painting them with just one solid color, I sort of just brushing the paint over some of them. And the last step is again to add a little bit of silver glitter glue on top of everything. Now I am working on hanging ornaments. I just cut out a circle out of a cardstock and I glued white paper on top of it. Then I covered the edges of the cardstock a little bit with white gesso so they wouldn't be so visible and now I'm gluing a piece of this decorative fabric on top of it. And now I'm decorating those ornaments a little bit with a ribbon and silver thread and other embellishments. Now it's time to attach those ornaments to my canvas. First I am adding this beads ornament which I got from one of my friends and she created these ornaments from beads and thin wire. And I'm just adding a piece of ribbon to make it look like it's hanging. And now I'm doing the same with my paper ornaments. I just added a piece of ribbon to it, but I'm not gluing it to the canvas with a hot glue, but I am using those sticky little pillows so the ornament would be a little bit elevated. And the last touch is to glue a little bow to my ornaments.
The last step on this project is to glue some of those embossed and painted stars and snowflakes to my canvas and that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed this video, please let me know in the comments what do you think, whether you like this and I would also appreciate a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so you wouldn't miss my new video. And as I mentioned at the beginning, in the description box you will find all the info about the giveaway and don't forget to check out all the other projects. At the end of the video you will also find some photos of the finished project and also sponsors for this giveaway. Thank you and see you next time. Bye bye!